Hey everybody, this is a Scotsman at Alabama Pipe Welders Academy. We're doing this uh, video on a wide gap weld repair. We got Scotty with us featuring in this video, one of the original G40 welders from SWAT. But uh, if you ever have to repair something and say the repair was in the root and you just get a little wide with it or somebody else was made a mistake, for whatever reason, we're gonna show you how to uh, weld up this half inch gap. Scott is getting ready to weld here. He's getting his tungsten sharp. We got this new tungsten sharpener. It's a Dewalt from Scotsman Tools. The blade on this thing lasts probably six months if it was a, a one welder using it. It's dust free, no no flying debris or anything. It's it's industrial. It's heavy duty. It works real good. It's fast. Three different angles. Get you one. Try it out. Is that what you're running your root on, 105? Yeah, we start out about 105. So basically, this float the wire technique so what is kind of just technique bridging are you gonna be using? from one so bevel wall the to the other. Use a 332 for the wire, about 105 amps, and, and you're just floating the wire on top of the puddle, sinking it in, making sure that the wire doesn't come out of the puddle. As a repair welder, you know, you really learn a lot off of other people's failures because when they bust the x-ray they usually run them off and you know the repair welder is called in to, to make the repair weld uh, it's just uh it's a shame that they don't let the guy who actually welded it weld it up and do the repair uh, most of the time that's just the way it is the repair welder they're one of the best because they're always learning from people's failures kind of reminds me though Charlie Brown episode where he's playing his heart out in a baseball game and he loses and Lucy approaches and Charlie Brown says, another ball game lost. Good grief. I get tired of losing. Everything I do, I lose. And Lucy replied, look at it this way, Charlie Brown. We learn more from losing than we do from winning. Charlie Brown then yells out, that must make me the smartest person in the world. I'm not completely certain that Lucy is correct. I'm not sure we learn more from losing than winning, but I do believe failures are necessary if we are going to be successful. Many people never experience the joy of success and victory because they are too fearful of failing. Failure should not be feared, but rather seen as a necessary part of the journey to victory. It's certainly no fun losing or failing or busting a weld test, but we can celebrate the effort, celebrate the willingness to risk and learn from our failures. So be encouraged. Failure is a part of it. Don't let it get you down. All right, getting back to the welding video. Here's Scotty. He's putting in the last fills. He's running about 180 amps, 332 wire, and he's just weaving it in there. Uh, we're going to flush this thing out. We're gonna do a little bit of grinding so the cap passes will match up. Some some QC will let you do this, some won't. They might make you, if, you're, uh, if your gap's that wide, they might make you put like a two pass cap and tie it back into the one pass wherever the weld uh, repair started and ended. You'll be able to pretty much see exactly where it, it started and ended. We're gonna do it where it just ties in and then it's you, there is no break in anything and you can uh, it just a smooth transition from old weld to new weld repair here he is drawing us some guidelines from toe to toe and uh, it's gonna look real good when we're done he actually let me weld the, the cap on here so uh, I hope you guys like it A uh, special shout out to Weld Tech and their uh, new rocker torch. They sent us one of these in the mail to try out, and it's uh, rated at 185 amps. Uh, it's it twists, it rocks right at the connection where the hose is, and this is good if you're in tight spots. You can get under a piece of pipe, and no matter how you hold your arm, it's good for fatigue on your wrist. Walking the cup makes it easier. It's it's uh it's a really nice heavier duty. TIG rig. 
Uh, it's flex head. It's got all the normal stuff except the hose. Is, you can tell the hose is a little bit bigger, uh, a little more heavy duty uh, for running higher amps. And uh, we actually put a little custom sheath on it and uh, it works real good. It works, it works real good. How you like that rocker torque, Scotty? Works pretty nice. I like it. Different. I like it. You recommend it? Oh yeah. Definitely when you get in a bad spot. <laughs>